Welcome, in front of me is a Xiaomi 13T Pro and today I will show you how you can enable and set up your Do Not Disturb mode. So let's start off with the setup which we'll do by pulling down our toggles. So swipe down from the top right side of your screen like so and locate the Do Not Disturb mode. If you don't see it on the first page, you can swipe to the left and this will show you a second page where the toggle is located for me. So it's this one right over here called DND. Once you see it, you can hold it. This will quickly take you to the settings and in here you can customize how the mode actually functions. So let's swipe down. We have the Do Not Disturb. You want to click on it and then we have the options here. So we have a schedule turn on. You can add a custom schedule so the mode will turn on and off at a provided uh, start and end time and also day of the week. If you're planning to use a schedule, just enable it in here. So right now it's enabled. If I would obviously toggle this off, it would be turned off. And that's all, all you would need to do. Now for manual usage, once you set it up, you can do that from the notifications. Instead of holding it, we can just tap on it, which I'll go over in a second. But let's continue with the settings right here. So we have options for when device is locked, meaning when your do not disturb mode is enabled, it will only work or affect your device when you're not using your device, when it's locked. Then we have also notify about calls. So here you can select who can call you virtually. And we have a couple options. We have uh, anyone, contacts, favorites, or no one with additional option right here to notify about repeated callers. So if someone calls you twice within a 15 minute period, if this is enabled, they will bypass whatever we have selected right here. By default, it's set to none. So no one should be able to call us with this option. If they do that twice in 15 minutes, they're going to call us no matter what you have selected right here. So there we go. Now, once it's all set, you can find the toggle and oops and simply tap on it like so it gives you the pop-up that it's now enabled and obviously the actual button becomes blue and you have the moon icon right here just to indicate that it is right now enabled so there we go now once you're done with it and you want to turn it off which you might want to remember about because there is no setting in here that will automatically turn it off if you manually turn it on as long as you're not using a schedule mode so at that point, you want to find it, turn it off once you're done with it, and uh, here we go. So with that being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.